Hey everyone, this is Bo from the My Server. I'm here to do a video on the continuation storyline quest on Cookie Island as well as a new additional event that just got added which is called Catch the Gingerbread Man. So let's go ahead and see how Cookie Island is now after a few weeks later. Uh, okay, how do I move in this thing? Oh, okay, I guess arrow keys will work. Uh, let's see how to do this. I guess I gotta catch the bread here, and then I gotta get the strawberry. Uh, where's the strawberry? Oh, uh, oh there's a strawberry. Nope, nope. Oh, crow, what? Uh, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, uh, what am I doing? What? Okay, uh, let's see. Now I need this one. Yes, and now I need... Not that one. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. This is what I need. Ah, da, da. Okay, uh, okay, that's what I need. <laughs> All right, that's next one. All right, I'm doing a good job here. Let's... Um, uh, wow, these... Gotta spam these keys pretty fast for this uh, quest. Now, come on, left, right, left, right. Let's work with me here, please. Uh, 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 chocolate, 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 chocolates! Okay, got the chocolates. All right, next one. Uh, bread, no! Mm, uh, okay, got it. Mm, no, mm, okay, okay. Uh, what? What? Hey, don't fail me now, fingers, please. Uh, uh. Do I get a good price if I get a lot of cakes completed? Oh no. Dang it. Uh. Alright, strategy, strategy. Got this. Mm, no, I don't want the big cakes. I'm gonna purposely cancel, cancel. Don't want it. Nope. Ah, nope. Don't want it. I don't want it. Mm, nope, nope. Don't want it. Nope. Don't want it. Nope. Cancel it. Alright, I got this. Alright. Oh, dang it. Okay, no. Don't want it. Don't want this. I don't want this. Okay, this one I got. I got this. All right, dodge. Mm, no, I got it. Mm, dodge. Mm, got this. Mm, and the white, white, white frosting. White frosting. White, white, white frosting. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one. Oh yeah, there's my cake. All right. Don't want this one. Too big. Mm, skip, skip, skip. Uh, to the right. Mm, nope, nope, nope. To the left. To the left. Uh, da, da, da. uh strawberry. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Mm -mm, no, no, dodging, dodging, dodge like a boss, dodge like a boss. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Mm, no, 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 chocolate. Yes. Okay. All right. Nope. Don't want this one. Yeah. Three layers. Stick to three layers only. Got it. Chocolate. Mm, dodge that. Mm -hmm. Swivel to the right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dang it. All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Topping. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dodge, 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 dodge. Please, just, just let me finish this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> just let it go through. I don't care. I just want my coins and my boxes. Ugh. I wonder how many cakes I can make by just standing here and doing nothing. Despite the daily grind, I'm sure you guys have been working on that storyline quest. So if you guys have been continuously doing that and collecting the waffles, eventually after a few days, if you have enough waffles, it will stack up to a single stack of waffles or pancakes. I forgot, it's one of those. And after that, it will take you into a new type of dungeon that's a little bit more trickier, a little bit more harder. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that dungeon is about. Upon entering this new dungeon, I'm pretty sure you guys will notice that it looks very similar to the previous types of dungeons. Except for this one, there's going to be a few different changes. So here there's going to be, you know, still, you know, gummy bears in the beginning of the room. There are going to be a lot more gummy bears, so they're not too difficult, but it's just, you know, annoying. So just go ahead and kill this room and go on to the next room, guys. After that, you guys are going to have the same old gingerbread room, except instead of the minimum 6, you need to now have a minimum 8. Not too bad, right? It's just, you know, lullaby and then kill them in the corner one at a time and you're all good. I know it's going to be much difficult for lower levels, so uh, keep that in mind that the dungeon is actually scaled to your total. Once you're done with that room, the next room is where it starts to change up a little bit. This is basically your Koopa room, but it's not your ordinary Koopa room. 
If you notice, if you start to fight these Koopas in any order you feel like it, they'll just respawn infinitely. So in order to clear this room, you need to kill these Koopas in the order of a rainbow. So that would be first red, and then next would be orange. The next color after that would be yellow, and even though on this screen it doesn't look like it, the next one after that is green, and next is blue, and last but not least is purple. After that, you'll notice that a larger Koopa would spawn in the center of the room, and in order to kill this Koopa, you can't really just attack it with your normal attacks because it's gonna be very difficult, it's gonna take a lot of time, this Koopa is very tanky, so in order to kill this Koopa, you're gonna have to fight the little Pocky Sticks, the, what I like to call Pocky Sticks. They're actually called vanilla candy ones, and if you attack them in the corners, be very careful because they do explode upon death, but they will drop a vanilla candy one for you to equip. Now you basically equip this wand, and no, you don't cast with it, you just, you know, attack the Koopa with it. Very similar to a uh, former attack um, with the rusted swords, so um, yeah, you just basically use the same technique. Equip the wand, doesn't have to be two or anything, just one's enough, and then just start smacking the Koopa with it. Eventually, over time, you'll see that your damage on it will increase and he will just die from, like, damage. Now, after you guys are done with this room, the next room is basically the boss, and that is the Cookie Witch. Now, the Cookie Witch is basically the one behind all the disappearances of the little children. So, you're here to be like, yo, where's my buddy? Where's Koo? Where he at? Um, now, be very careful with the Cookie Witch. She actually does a lot of snap casting and advanced magic, which can actually really hurt. You don't want to idle around and give her that chance to cast her spell, so do your best and attack her as much as possible while you can. The Koopas will be a bit of annoyance with their own attacks, uh, just making sure that you just get away from the witch. Um, and her advanced magic definitely will not make it any easier for you to get close to her. So once you get that opportunity, just attack her. Uh, a lot of people seem to like to use the Hydra method because it's very easy, very simple, just low by Hydra drop and done. <laughs> There's other people who like to use fighter skills. So whatever you guys, uh, you know, can do, whatever works for you, just do it. It's basically a uh, do more damage before she kills you kind of deal. Now you will have to fight her a couple more times, not just one time, guys. So it will take a few more days for this storyline quest. Once you kill her a few more times after the first time, she's gonna eventually give up and be like, Oh, what's wrong with you? I only did this so I can have some friends. And then suddenly she just goes through a very uh, horrific flashback of um, having uh, people abandoning her when she tried her best to, uh, you know, make friends with people through her treats, and that apparently failed. Of course, this is a Mabinogi game, so you will feel remorse for what you just did, and you'll just be like, oh man, I'm such a bad person. Uh, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll be your friend. And then she's gonna be like, huh, what? Huh, huh, you're gonna be my friend? Oh my good, awesome, I'm gonna call you my BFF forever, and like, yeah, I'm gonna give you a nickname, and the amazing nickname is... McWaffles. Like, what? <laughs> now, if you guys are thinking you can change this nickname by choosing that you hate it, it's not gonna happen. She's just gonna be like, psh, you hate it? Oh well, psh, you're gonna have to deal with it. Regardless of which option you choose, you will get the McWaffles title. And she will return the kids back, but they uh, aren't gonna be in their normal sizes, of course. They're, just, they're gonna be large. Yeah, fat kids. <laughs> In addition to the title, you will receive a pet as well. It's a cotton candy pet, and no, it is not a cloud. I know I thought it was a cloud at first, but it is actually a broomstick uh, that looks like, I guess, cotton candy, kind of, sort of. Kind of looks more like a cookie. But um, yeah, that is basically the pet. It has a very small inventory, but yeah, it's a free pet, you know, free base. Um, and after that, of course, you guys will get uh, the McWaffles title, 
It has uh, some interesting stats to it, um, but the most interesting thing to this title is the fact that if you equip it, uh, you can cast a fireball in a different animation and it looks like a little star ball thingy, you know, the same attack that she, uh, the, the Cookie Wish had. So that's pretty neat. You will also notice that all the NPCs that are returned will still remain fat and I think that's, you know, that's how they're gonna be for the duration of the event. Now some other things you guys probably notice now is the little Koopas jumping around the little cookie island and they're just mad adorable. This is basically how the mini gem looks like by the way if you guys are curious. Um, but uh, besides that, there's also a new type of uh, quest that involves the cookie uh, wizard. Basically, you guys will get a quest from Aodin, which eventually has you talking to the wizard, and then you'll have to fight the runaway gingerbread man. Uh, there's also a daily quest that you guys get um, for this gingerbread man, so if you guys are doing this quest, do them both at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone, right? The gingerbread basically spawns outside of Cookie Island near the bridge, just right in that field area, and he spawns every two hours real time. So yeah, you want to get the gingerbread man when he spawns, um, otherwise it'll be a long wait for the next one. And it's a different time for each channel, by the way. Once you defeat him, you guys will get some sugar coins and a savory gift box now this is important guys because if you guys remember my last video i mentioned the sugar coin rewards and apparently the savory gift box rewards uh was listed but it wasn't even out in the event uh until now so uh, i guess I, I thought that these uh, little robes came from the sugar coin box but they actually come from the savory gift box and that makes sense now why uh, i haven't seen anybody with those robes so if you guys want these uh, little bear robes this is uh, how you can get them you have to kill the gingerbread man once a day only by the way guys you can only get one box per character a day now here's what I got from my box. Obviously it's gonna be potions, yeah. <laughs> um, and of course there's a uh, homestead stuff too, um, and the drop materials, yeah. What I've always wanted for Christmas. Now here are some little tips for you guys on this gingerbread man. If you guys see him heal, you guys can windmill him and he'll stop healing. It'll just like reset his, uh, you know, action, and it'll prevent him from healing up and taking forever to die. Uh, yes, you can poison him with a snake, um, and that does kill him a lot faster, but do keep in mind that there are other people running from a far distance to get the um, kill count too, so uh, give them a chance to at least smack it once, because that's all you gotta do is smack it once to get the credit for uh, the reward. Now if you're a very busy person and you can't really idle around waiting for the gingerbread man, what you can do is just leave your character AFK uh, on the gingerbread man spawn spot and set it to auto attack. Eventually when it does spawn, then you will be able to attack it when it hits you. You just have to pray that somebody uh, kills the gingerbread man for you though. Uh, but that will be kind of you being lazy, but you know... Uh, People have things to do in their life, right? Now, if you want to be more active and actually find out when it spawns on the dot, you can actually kill some mobs around Imain Maka area, which basically means the spiders on the north side of Imain. Uh, unfortunately, this sucks for um, people who do spider farms here, so you guys are gonna have to move over to Churchrano Graveyard, just saying. Um, but if you guys kill the spiders in this area, uh, eventually, hopefully, uh, it will drop a former command scroll that will tell you exactly when the gingerbread man will spawn. And that is basically my video on the second part of the Cookie Island event and the new Catch the Gingerbread Man event. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Feel free to leave some comments below if I forgot anything. And like always guys, stay awesome! Tony, where are you? Where? Come in here, I want to show you something. Yeah. Follow me. Okay. North, I guess. 
showing Tony. Show Tony something amazing. Do I know what it is? Probably. Are you using Fireball? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He'll like it. He'll want it. Uh. Over here! I'm sorry, whoever's farm this is. You nuked somebody's spider farm? Is, is there a guy here? There's nobody here. They're yeah. the worst type of person. <laughs> No, one, no one's gonna see it. It's okay. All right, watch some this. Guy, some guy, went to go. You can see effects of fireball, all right? Complex. He's gonna come back to the dead spider. He's gonna cry so much. Tony. Yeah. Yeah, you can see effects of fireballs, right? It's not right. mini fix, okay. I hope he doesn't have that turned off, cause there's no reason to. Whoa, what the frick? <laughs> I want it! <laughs> Go to the event, Tony! 